there are six basic commands that you really need to know to be able to get through AutoCAD. And once you have these six, line, circle, offset, trim, copy, and text, you can do most of what you want to do. After that, other commands just make things easier um, to do. Also, use how to use O snaps, the object snaps, and tracking. These all kind of help you work better with an AutoCAD. Oh, I didn't put it on the list, but erase is there too. So erase is a real easy one because you just pick what you want and you press the delete key and it erases it. So I didn't really cover that because that's not just nothing to it. Just pick, hit delete, it's gone. You can find these commands on the ribbon. So in the draw we have line, we have circle, and circle has quite a few options, so we'll go through those on another video. Under modify, we have offset right here. We have trim here and copy right here. And then under annotation, we have our text here. And we have two different types of text. We have multi-line text, which is for like a paragraph of text and has a full text editor where you can do different fonts within that, which usually we don't want to do, but you can set different sizes within that text box, different justifications, line spacing, all that. Or single line text, where each line of text is its own piece. So like these are single line text. And each one of these is its own piece, can be moved independently, uh, copied, changed, done whatever with. And I prefer to use single line unless i am got a paragraph of notes of, of something, just because I have a lot more control over line spacing and everything. The O snaps and tracking really help you work with your drawing. So to O snaps is this button down here. If I right click on it, I can see the different O snaps. I'll go to settings and just look at them all. These are the ones I like to have turned on. I like to have endpoint, midpoint, center, node, which is a point, intersection, and extension. Those are the O snaps that I like to have turned on. And so when I'm drawing, I can snap to the endpoint of a line, the midpoint of a line, the center of a circle. And you can see the little green things are coming up. Though that's for the tracking. But I don't have like the quadrant. So if I wanted to start a line right here at the quadrant of the circle, what I can use is use my tracking. I'm going to go over the midpoint or over the center. Now I get this little green line. That's my tracking line. I'm going to bring that out to the intersection. So that's finding the intersection of where that the center would hit that line. I can go there. And now I can draw from that quadrant. So I can draw over to that endpoint. Let's say I wanted to come up tangent to the circle now. I don't have that one turned on, so if I hold shift and I right click, now I have all of them again. So I'm just going to go and pick tangent. And now I can just pick kind of somewhere between here and here. As long as I have the, the green icon for my O snap showing up, I can click and it's going to go right to it. Same thing over here. Even though I'm way down below that endpoint, because I have the endpoint selected, it would go right to it. If I hit tab, it'll tab through the different O snaps I have available. So maybe I want the midpoint. I can click without even moving the mouse just by hitting tab a couple times. I can also use the tracking to find points in space. So if I want to draw a circle right in the middle of this rectangle, I could draw a line corner to corner circle in, put it in like that, or I can use my tracking, so start a circle, come down, go over the midpoint, I'm just going to just move the mouse over it, not click, just to turn on the tracking points. Now when I move down, it's going to find that intersection of those two, and click, now I can draw my circle. Another way I could have done that, since this one is nice and easy, is I could shift right click, say midway between two points, and then pick opposite corners. So in this case, that would work. So lots of different ways we can use our O snaps and tracking to help speed up our drawings.